Um, on this example, ladies and gentlemen, what we see is we have an angle. Now, we have an angle that is on the triangle. All right. Now, even though we don't have two chords, the formula for this is just like any other inscribed angle, where what we're going to do is this measure of angle 6 is going to be 1 half of its arc. So we need to figure out what the arc is. Now, we know that the distance measure of all the arcs around a circle is 360. So this arc from here to there is going to be 360 minus 228. So I do 360 minus 228, I get 132 degrees. Now remember, when you have an angle on the circle, and one line is secant and one line is tangent, the measure of your angle is 1 half of its arc. So the measure of angle 6 is equal to 1 half of 132 degrees. Therefore, I take 1 half of 100, or 162 degrees, and I get 81 degrees. That was one of the formulas that we talked about um, with secant and tangent lines, is that it's just like the 